Uh, hey all, uh, I'm trying something new here with my video. I'm going to try to do it a little bit darker just so you can see the screen a little bit better without all the reflections. But I want to show you today uh, one of the most commonly asked questions I've found amongst uh, iOS musicians is uh, how to uh, MIDI sync clock um, so that when you're playing uh, your song in your DAW and you want to record a new riff it'll start right on time. Um, using actual MIDI sync clock I uh, I haven't figured out how to do it or anything like that but um, I do know how to do it through Beatmaker 2 by uh, routing MIDI uh, through um, through the app you want to record and back into Beatmaker 2 using Audio Bus so I'll show you how to do that um, we'll open Audio Bus here <coughs> and then our output we'll put Beatmaker 2 I'm going to go ahead and click on it again to open it. We'll have a, open it back up here. We'll have a new project, keyboard sampler, empty preset. That's it. I'm going to go back to Audio Bus now and I'll open an input. Um, There's so many to choose from. Um, I'm just going to choose Anim Animoog. It's solid, sounds good in the default setting and everything, so. <clears throat> We're going to go back to Animoog just for a sound test. Alright. Seems to be working pretty good. So, um, back to Beatmaker. Alright, as you see, it uh, it's uh, automatically made an Animoog channel for me here, and it's all primed and ready to record. And this purple channel here is the empty key maker I, or uh, empty keyboard sampler I've uh, created. And as you can see, right off the bat, without doing anything, it's already controlling Animoog. So basically, all I have to do now is select my little draw tool here. Let's draw a little region. We'll open it up. Open the draw tool here as well. Alright. Copy that. Oops. I'm just going to drag these each bar just so we can see exactly what it's doing here. Erase this one. Alright. So hit play. Uh, loop this. Go back to my track view here so you can see. See now all we have to do to record this audio is click record. That's it. As you can see, it's a uh, recorded it right in in sync. Uh, might be a little bit off and I did get a little, little bit of crackling there but that can always be solved. Um, let me stop this, turn off that metronome. All right. So um, now I'll show you what you can do because obviously, um, let me delete, whoops, let me delete the MIDI file here and I'll draw a new one. Okay, so so now let's say we want this MIDI to control the next synth in line. So uh, we'll go back to uh, Audio Bus here and I'm going to add in another another synth. Well actually let's use Drum Jam this time. Open up Drum Jam.
back to Beatmaker. Okay, now it's created the drum drum jam for us here too. So um, we'll go back to our drum jam for a second because we're gonna have to configure a little bit of something here. All right, Let's put a little cog up. We'll go to our MIDI setup, and we want our in channel to be channel two. And we'll set voice input on. All right, it's a little bit. Uh, you have to do a little bit of config each time. I'd uh, I've I'd previously done the configuration for Animoog. Although if you're only using one synth to do this, then uh, it won't really matter as long as you're on Omni Channel. Let me go back to Beatmaker here. All right, so we're gonna go to our our home button here and look at this little empty keyboard sampler and you see there's a little MIDI icon there just click that and uh, we want our output channel to be 2 okay so let's click on that Alright, so um, now I'll just go back to the little thingy here, sorry, the track view, and I'll go back to my MIDI that I wrote earlier, and we'll just add in C1, <clears throat> and I'll copy this a bunch of times here, and we'll take this one, oh wait, we'll take this one, Move it up a couple, and same with this one, just to up up to a snare position, I believe. All right, pause this. I'm just gonna mute that animoog for a second here. As you can see, there's our little drum beat. I'll just make it longer. And um, I'll loop this. There we got a thumb jam drum beat. It's all synced. <coughs> so uh, I'm gonna copy this over a few times. Wait. And we'll drag this back just so it matches here. And there we go. I showed you how to sync up two things. Well, wait, I can, uh, I'll go back and uh, turn that off for a second. And uh, we'll just go to record. I forgot to turn off the, the Animoog recording. It's doubled over it. No problem, just delete that. <clears throat> to uh, enable and disable the recordings, you go to this little audio button on your audio track. Whoops. And you can see I could actually switch it over to drum, drum jam right from there, but we'll just turn off our recording, monitor, that kind of thing. All right. Go back to our track view. We can get rid of this MIDI now. We don't need it anymore. Done. And uh, we have our little song. And there you go. Everything's done. Now you can continue to to add your uh, your synths here and get your audio channel output, you know obviously 
we can add in an effect here and uh, run an effect through it as well. It's not just limited to input only. So um, that's pretty much how you do this. And uh, I know it's not going to be the same. You can't use the step sequencer inside of each app the way you'd want and have it all perfectly timed. But at least it's uh, it's it's done. You know what I mean? It's a great and easy way to do things. So I uh, hope this helps some people and uh, enjoy. Thanks.